The views and opinions on this show are for entertainment purposes only. The only factual information is any story that has happened to AT2 are the parties involved. Other than that, go ahead and get you a drink, get you something to eat. Just relax and enjoy the show. Let's have fun. All right, y'all, let's get real. What's up? What's up? What's up, everybody? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can y'all hear me? <laughs> There's a whole bunch of banging and noise going on over there. So I'm trying to figure out what the hell is going on and if I can use this headset or not. Okay, you can hear me. Okay, good, 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 good. Hello, hello, hello. What's up, everybody? And welcome to another episode of Talk the Real Deal with AT2. And of course, I'm your boy AT2. Uh, thank y'all for tuning in to the show. Um, <laughs> I don't know what kind of construction they do in next door. It's a whole bunch of banging and clicking. So I'm trying to use the headset for the first time. So hopefully this works. Um, when I was playing my intro, it was actually coming through the phone instead of coming through the earpiece. So I don't know if it's a thing where I can talk into this and then um, you guys can still hear me, but the audio is for me, is still going to come through the phone. Um, as far as the sound, does it, can you guys hear a whole bunch of um, banging and stuff or the noise is canceled out? Let me know. Put a one in the chat if you can hear the background noise, put a two if you can't. What's up, Cheryl? What's up, Elise? What's up, Shell? Shout out to my moderators. Uh, shout out to Juice. What's up, Juice Radio? What's up, Opal? We got Ann, Anum's mom, Elise. I did say hi, right? What's up, Marie? Shout out to all my members, too, as well, because y'all keep the bills paid. What's up, Wendy Lynn, Angie, uh, Priscilla? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Two, only hear you. Okay, good. Okay, it is working. Two. Okay. What's up, Dion? Thank you. That's what I want to know. I feel like clicking some pots and pans. You know, <laughs> have y'all ever seen, um, damn, I'm going to take y'all back, uh, Bad Girls Club, when uh, Tanisha was banging the pots and pans and shit. I didn't even sleep because y'all remember that? I know, I'm taking y'all way back. Um, okay. All right, let me go ahead and get started uh, with the first topic. Um, I'm going to knock the more serious one out first. Uh, we are going to talk about uh, Caroline Schwitzky and uh, her boyfriend, or I don't think he's her boyfriend no more, Cole Goldberg. All right, so everybody was saying 90 Day Fiance, and I was all like, who is she? Like, I don't remember her being on the show. She was on the Happily Ever After, and she was Paola's, uh, like, modeling agent or whatever, and so she was supposed to help her with that. Fast forward to now, Caroline is actually an actress. She was never an actual modeling. This is somebody they hired for the show, but she was featured on there. So... What happened is that TMZ had reported that her boyfriend actually tried to off her, if you know what I mean by that. Uh, they were they were on a boat together. They were fighting. What ended up happening was that she got um, she was trying to get away from him, and like she started punching him off his arm. So what happened was that she she swam in the water to a nearby boat to try to get away, but then he jumped in the water too as well, and he was strangling her, trying to hold her under the water, trying to basically drown her. And so she luckily uh, there were some near, uh, people nearby, and they were able to you know get 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 her away from him. And he was arrested. He did post bail for 60,000. Uh, so he is currently out. But 
I don't know the law too well, but if you try to murder somebody, how the hell are you out of jail? Like, even with a bail, like, how are you out of jail? Like, I don't understand that because what if he tries to do it again? Now, she is in the Miami area. She is in Florida, Miami. Um, I don't know how they do it there, but uh, it's definitely alarming, you know. Uh, Michael, I don't know why you're saying that it's not true, but if you want to come up and let us know the truth, you definitely can. But anyway, um, definitely a scary situation. Um, definitely everybody pray for her. Hopefully she's okay. I know this is something that's traumatic, but uh, TMZ uh, went ahead and uh, reported the story. I guess it actually happened a couple of days ago, um, but TMZ just reported it now. So definitely prayers for her and hopefully, you know, she's okay. Uh, that's something very traumatic and I can't even, man, that it's crazy, you know. Um, if you guys are in any kind of situ uh, situation um, where you, it's not good for you, it's not healthy, please get away. Please get away. That's what I will say. If you're in a situation that's not good or healthy for you, please get away. All right, moving on to the next. So we are going to talk about Mr. Uh, Jabri, Jabri Bell. Now, you know, him and me on a, are on this season, and they haven't really, how do I put this? <sighs> Y'all. My last video didn't do too well when I covered 90 Day Fiance. I think people are not really connecting with any of the characters this season. I'm hoping, hopefully, I'm hoping that this is just a slow start. But if it don't pick up, I'm gonna stop covering 90 Day Fiance. But anyway, so the Rapid City uh, newspaper they had actually posted, and if you see on top, it had said Reality Star hopes to spread love through platform. Now he crossed it out and put human. And then he made another post on a story that said, however, guys, please don't refer to me as a reality star. I'm a human being. I'm no better than anyone reading this. Da, 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 all that rest of that stuff. Right now. You were on reality TV. So this makes you a reality TV star. That's nothing bad. Like, I think something is wrong with this guy in his head where he feels like, oh, don't call me a reality star. I'm a human being and I'm trying to spread love. Listen, you cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Ain't nobody trying to listen to you talk about spreading love or positivity. Nobody care about that. You are on a reality show, which makes you a reality star. Just be happy that somebody knows who you are. You you probably the biggest celebrity in South Dakota, so I I would take it as a compliment. <laughs> See, I'm telling you, I know Nikki, but it don't seem like people are really connecting this season. Yeah, I see. I don't. Uh, let me ask y'all real quick. I'm going to play a commercial. Uh, put a one in the chat if you are liking this season. Put a two in the chat. You ain't really feeling it. Let's do a um, third. Well, actually, I'm going to play a commercial and we'll be right back. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Twinkle. Twinkle, Twinkle, little star. You know, I'm just here right now. You know, uh -huh. he was in my bed. I just had sex with him. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, I just had sex and the, gr the girls are mad. Wendy, you know, they mad. But, you know, I just want to get on here real quick, Judge Velvet, just to tell the girls, why you mad? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, they always like to talk about you, my man, and Sharita. I don't even know who you are, but stay away from my man, because Calvin is mine, and he gonna be mine forever. <laughs> uh, twinkle, twinkle, let us stop. Oh, okay. Um, Autumn's mom, she said he's not a reality TV star. He's a reality TV personality. That is true. He's definitely not a star. He's not an A-lister, more like Z-list. So reality TV personality. There you go. Thank you, Autumn's mom, for the correction. I think that was slight shade, but <laughs> we're going to roll with it. We're going to roll with it, definitely. Um, anyway. Yeah, so, okay, so a few of you are connected this season, a few of you are not connected. I'd rather watch Ratchet Zeus <laughs> Shell keeps telling me to watch uh, The Bad Boys Club. I, 
there's no plot or storyline. All, all I'm going to be talking about is the fights on the Bad Boys Club. Like, it's not... <laughs> so since then, too, I forgot it was on. Um. Anyway, but yeah, Jabri, it, it seems like he wants to talk about, you know, spreading love, spreading positive, positivity. I'm not saying that he can't do that, but you're on a show called 90 Day Fiance. Have you ever watched the show? I'm pretty sure you have because it seemed like all you want to do is be on TV, but I'm pretty sure you watched the show. I wouldn't say 90 Day Fiance is one of the more positive shows. Um, it's pretty negative, right? I, am I making that up, y'all? I, I don't see it as like a, a positive show. Like I see it more as like it, it's Ratchet TV that we love to watch, right? We can review the fights. <laughs> um, if you want more drama, look up uh, the new Memphis drama where she's dancing on the camera pumping breast milk. Oh, y'all, I was going to mention Hamza. So Hamza did, um, well, shit, let me go ahead and mention it now. So Hamza did mention that the white woman that Memphis was talking about, I can't even believe this is a discussion, but the white woman that Memphis was talking about, that was... Um, a mutual friend between um, someone that was helping him out because he didn't really understand, like, um, as far as, like, going, somebody said fake Cisco, uh, you know, going to court and stuff like that. So he needed help. And that white lady was helping him. So that's what why she was there, you know. So that's not his new girlfriend or anything like that. He did clarify that, you know, as well. He's pulling that humble card. Uh, don't get it twisted. He's loving the celebrity attention. Boom. Exactly. I am not paying for another channel, especially one name. <laughs> so we are going to move on to Mike. Oh, why didn't I have a picture of Mike? Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Let me do a commercial. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, AT2. And a lot of people want to know, like, hey, AT2, I want to be able to use StreamYard like you. You know, can you help me out? Well, you are in luck. I am going to go ahead and be teaching StreamYard classes. Uh, go ahead and hit me up on uh, Instagram, either at AT2 underscore for real, or hit me up via email at at 2 entertainment booking at gmail.com again at2 entertainment booking at gmail.com i'll definitely hit you back let you know what the price is because you can't be telling everybody your prices hey, do you have but, a business a youtube channel or whatever you want to promote on at2's channel yeah i'm at2 but if you want to promote on my channel please just let me know i can even create the promo video for you if you would like just hit me up either in the dm on instagram at2 underscore for real or hit me up via email at at2 entertainment booking at gmail.com again that's at2 entertainment booking at gmail.com i'll let you know the prices what i can help you with and we'll come up with a plan another thing i'm unemployed so i can't be hooking y'all up with discounts and stuff until the business get off the ground y'all know what it help a brother out y'all know how it is All right, y'all, let's go ahead and talk about Mr. Mike Burke. Um, there we go. So this is an exclusive, y'all. So Mike is currently in trouble. Uh, as you guys know that, uh, you know, it was reported a few months ago, he had those questionable uh, racist, homophobic posts um, that hit the Internet. You know, since then, he's been trying to shy away from that and not really addressing the issue with that and how problematic that he, I don't want to say was, is. I, I still think he's an asshole. You know what I mean? Especially the way that he was treating Jimena, even though she was playing him for the money and stuff like that. Um, Mike might not, now he was filming with Nelsie. Everybody had seen that picture a while ago, but currently he is kind of like in the doghouse because TLC don't know if they want to continue with the Mike and Jimena story. Now, as you guys know, Jimena was dating that guy, Josh from Canada. They actually broke up. They are no longer together. And so TLC was going to play this whole thing out, but they're mad at Jimena because basically she broke her NDA by exposing the relationship and stuff like that with the Josh guy in Canada. 
And then they don't know which way to go with Mike because of his problematic post. So right now, TLC are kind of in a bind. They don't know if they're going to continue or not. So what Mike has been trying to do is basically... Sorry, y'all, bill collector. <laughs> That's why you should donate to the Cash App, PayPal, Venmo, or send a Super Chat or Super Sticker. Anyway, um, you know, they don't know which way they're going to go with this currently. So they could possibly do the single life spinoff with Mike. Um, Mike is trying to basically change his image right now to let people know like, hey, I'm a good guy. Feel sorry for me. This woman did me wrong. And so he's trying to play on that sympathy card. So TLC is currently not sure if they are going to extend the because if they film something, they can scrap the show still or scrap your segment. They don't have to continue with it. You know, that's in like the fine lines and stuff like that. So even though they did film already, they do not have to show it. So currently TLC is deciding on what they're going to do. So Mike has been trying to change his image and stuff like that. Um, a lot of people are annoyed because he's been trying to make friends with the new cast members and stuff like that. He's been saying, oh, follow this person, follow that person. Even him and Mahogany, and they had a little issue together. Um, you know, he was telling people to follow her as well. And a lot of people are annoyed because they're like, damn, this guy is still stretching his 15 minutes of fame. I don't even think he had 15 minutes. I think he had about five minutes of fame, just five minutes, but he is trying to stretch it. So right now you hear, you heard it first, exclusive. They are still waiting to see what happens with Mike. They have not made a decision on whether or not they're going to put him on the spinoff happily ever after or the single life. They are trying to see how the public you know, reacts to this, if the public remembers that controversy or not. Um, and, you know, and I do agree with Alina, Alina, even though she was a hater, Alina was all like, hey, I got in trouble for what I did and they kicked me off the show. Why didn't they kick him off the show? And, and so I think people are, you know, reminiscing on that. And so they're all like, mm, we might have to, you know, kick him off the show as well, too. So I'm interested to know. Um, do you guys think Mike should get a spinoff or put a two in the chat? No. Put a one. Yes, he should get a spinoff. Put a two in the chat. No. Let me read some of your comments while I catch up. Um, Mike is gross. I don't want to watch him. <laughs> uh, TLC is a mess. They need to fire him like Alina. Fair. That's fair. Mike ran away like an old episode of Cheers. <laughs> I died twice. Ooh. He needs to address the racist remarks. He, yeah, he definitely do. Two, two. Damn. Everybody put a two. Right. And, you know, Big Ed still has allegations. I, I don't want to talk about them in the episode because I still would like this video to be monetized. But, you know, he got some allegations and he's been on hella spinoffs. You know, why hasn't Rose been on any spinoffs? Why have they been letting Mike get on spinoffs, you know? I mean, Big Ed, you know, why are they letting him get on spinoffs? He definitely shouldn't get any spinoffs, you know, until he clears up all the allegations made by him. It, it, it's very crazy. And someone was saying this uh, season has been boring because they don't have problematic people. <laughs> so I guess we either have to deal with the pervs, the racist, and the narcissist in order to have like a good season and 90 Day Fiance. What's up, Raz? She said <laughs> she was just kidding, y'all. Don't don't attack her in the chat. She was just kidding. Um. But yeah, you got to be one of those things in order for us to like you. I don't know. Shit, I'm I'm thinking about going on 90 Day Fiance. I'm going to uh, go on uh, one of the websites. Oh, yes, yeah, she does. She does. Shout out to Rose. She does have a successful um, YouTube channel. She's big on social media, too. And I also heard that she has a new boyfriend. I know she was dating a woman, and now she's dating a man again. Um, so she, you know, she is dating again. I think she would be interesting. I definitely liked her on the show. Uh, she had her funny moments and stuff like that. You know, the, eh. you know, everybody used that uh, one TikTok. 
So, you know, I definitely think, uh, yeah, I went ahead and dropped the link if anybody has anything to say. If not, I'll go ahead and end it here. Uh, the shanky panky lady seems like another Kimberly <laughs> looking forward to her story. Yeah. So she's not old. She's actually just in her late 20s. She's not hella old. It's just like compared to her, uh, Guillermo, she looks hella old. Talking about uh, Cara. Where are they? Do I have a picture of them? Yeah, right there. Cara and Guillermo. She looks hella old next to him, but she's actually not that old. 30 days. <laughs> you trying to get us married right now. Hey, tell her to hit me up in the DM, Raz, or give me uh, give me her uh, social media and I'll look her up. We're going to be on 30 days. <laughs> 30 days. Yes. I wouldn't mind getting married like right away. AT2, I will find you a French girl to go on 90 Day Fiance, language barrier, culture difference, troublemaker. Boom, perfect. Everything that you need for 90 Day Fiance. Yo, and then, you know, you got to think about it too. If I go on 90 Day Fiance, you know, I live in, um, they say, my mama slash uncle basement. I ain't got no job. I do YouTube. Um, I beg for money. Like <laughs> I got the perfect story because when she get over here, she's going to be like, what the hell is going on? She's going to be highly upset, highly disappointed, pissed off. You know, <laughs> it's going to be it's going to be an amazing story. I think I got the perfect life in the perfect kind of storyline to uh, be on 90 Day Fiance. I think that shit would be funny, y'all. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and get the hell up out of here, but make sure y'all hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. I appreciate everybody just for rocking and supporting with AT2. I know it's been a while. Uh, Cameo strength. Oh, oh, yeah. They do. Ca they're the they're the only two this season. Uh, him and Brown Skin Miona are the only two that have Cameo already, That which is weird because I apply for Cameo and Cameo still ain't hit me back. I guess I'm not a big star like everybody else, but whatever. All right, y'all. I'm going to get out of here and start rambling. Deuces. We out. See y'all later.